Um, anyway, so we're back out to the front porch. Still haven't got that planted. <laughs> Jeez, it's, you know, gosh. Anyways, the wind has been nutsola. And, um, but my plants are faring okay. This has grown a lot. This one, you know, my petunias, purple petunias. But these, um, I think the wind's getting, obviously, sometimes I have the worst luck with hanging baskets. Um, these are doing really well. My geraniums are really starting to pop in color now. But what I wanted to show you, and I hope you can see this in a video. Well, you can on here. That's pollen. Look at it. It's everywhere on top of this lantern. There's a yellow hue here. <laughs> see, you can see that. So here my bunnies are. I'm going to have to clean them all off um, before I put them up. I did get my whole house done, but it's like the the pollen's everywhere. Like, look at my this little red truck. Look, it's covered with pollen. Pollen, pollen, pollen. It's even on the plants, you know, on the edges of the leaves. Um, here on the chair, you can see it's got that hue to it. <laughs> I've got this one up. I sit out here sometimes, but you can see it all over the chair. It's terrible. It's on the plants. But yeah, I mean, this is not doing as well as I had hoped. Um, and I think a lot of it has to do with the wind. Um, it's doing okay. It's just, I'm watering them constantly. And I think if I repotted them, they do a lot better. Um, see, here, look at the wind. I've got to get my flags down now. Um, this one, you know, they're blooming, but they're just not as green and pretty as they were before. So I don't know what's wrong with that. That Gerber daisy's growing. It did, it's fixing to have a flower, I think. Yeah, you can see it right there. Um, so that's growing. That one I had in the pot, it's bigger than the last time you saw it, I think. Um, but yeah, everything's looking a little like yucky. There's stuff all over the ground. It's all over my bench. Look at the, yeah, it's piled up. All that pollen and all over this stuff probably too. So I'm gonna have to do a big cleaning out here. Um, yeah, it's like up on the edge here. You can see it on the black, see it all along there. Yeah, pollen, 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 pollen. I think it pollen's done though, finally. Oh, let me look, look at this one. This, this Gerber's going bananas. It's, look at all the, <laughs> they're all the same color. And then there's another one down there coming. So this one's my pink one, you know, it gets all pinky. Um, anyways, but yeah, and then down here, uh, I'll have to take out my carrots. These I put in, remember they had all the purple flowers on them? Well, they've like not got any more flowers right at the moment. Um, they've got new ones coming, but these, and I don't know if I'm should, I should pinch these back, you know? You know how you're supposed to do that with some plants? I don't know if you're supposed to take this stuff off so it doesn't seed or whatever, because they've kind of turned black on me. I don't know if, what that means, because um, these, I've never had these before. Um, hopefully they start blooming again. They do have green, more green growth on them. So I think they're gonna be all right. I don't profess to be, ooh, did you see that? That was, <laughs> was a lizard. Um, anyway, so yeah, we haven't got into this yet. It's been so windy and stuff, and I just haven't got out to the, the plant place with my son. He's gonna go with me um, to pick out some stuff for in here. We've talked about that before. Um, this stuff's gone crazy. Um, that, I, you know, is that Jenny, Sweet Jenny, I think it's called, or something like that. That, you know, it had plants in there before. I told you that last time. And I need to get these out of here and pot something in here and then maybe add a little bit of this back in. That's maybe what I'm gonna do. But I do have pots like sitting everywhere just at the moment. I'm gonna move them um, and once we get this planted. And this azalea that, well, it was blooming. It's still doing great. The leaves are great. It's gonna be a big one. So I'm gonna put it over here on this corner, I think, right here. Cause it'll get kind of big like my other ones did. They're out here. Remember they were covered with flowers. It's all gone already. It doesn't take any time at all. And those um, aren't blooming anymore, see? It just looks boring now. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I think that's where this is gonna go over here and it'll get bigger and it'll be a nice spot for it right there. And then we're gonna do something here. I don't know exactly what yet, but yeah, this one's looking good. It's going crazy. My ones out back are doing well, all my plants. Um, but yeah, I still gotta pot that. But it's early morning. It's kind of cloudy today. Um, a little bit of blue sky. Um, not a lot. 
<sighs> my um, neighbor just came back from taking his dog for a walk. I haven't taken Brax Brax uh, Braxton uh, up and down the street. Okay, he just gets tired out. I mean, he's got just little legs. He can't go fast. <laughs> he's out back right now. Um, yeah, but anyways, that's my other neighbor. Uh, my neighbor over here, just over here, he's moving. They've got the sign up in the yard. They already sold, he actually sold his house already. Um, anyway, so that's what's going on. I'm going to be cleaning today. So I'll bring you back out here when I'm in the process of that. We'll see you in a bit. Hi friends, it's Kim with Today's Creations. Welcome back everybody. While we're outside at my house, I wanted to give you an update on how my plants are all doing since we've been over here for the last couple of weeks. Um, I did, oh, I wanted to show you, we brought this home. I don't know if I showed you that already. Um, that came from my mother's house. We're this close, this close to having that thing listed so we can put it up for sale. I did clean off this stuff the other day um, a little bit. I didn't get the chair, like, that. I cleaned the cushions as best I could um, from all the pollen that was out. And I cleaned the front porch, too, and I already kind of showed you how that looked. Um, but anyways, um, this is a new table that we got from my parents, or my mom's house. And it um, is nice and big, which I love, but it needs to be power washed. Maybe I did tell you about it. I don't remember it from one video to the next. Oh, there's some people talking out here. I didn't know they were out back. Um, anyways, I didn't show you these little thingies. I got these from Big Lots. They light up. Um, I need to put new batteries in them. And there's little lights that hang here on my patio right there. And then these are those spiky plants. They're looking good here. Remember I asked you before what I should do with them. I brought them out back and they're doing fabulous. They like it. I need to get... That has some... Oh those clovers in it that I need to get out of there because they're, but that one's okay. It doesn't have anything. And then we still haven't power washed. That's on the agenda to do. We are going to have some rain today. Um, but I wanted to show you over here. This is my little sitting area. Okay, here's the back door that comes out of the house right here. And then, you know, here's the porch here. And then you can see me, there's French doors. Those go into my dining space, my dining room space in the great room. Well, we have this little area here where we have a little setup. And these are doing good. I mean, there's a lot of green growth here. But finally, I thought when I bought these, they had some other colors in them. And there are ones popping up now, uh, finally, of these other colors that are within this stuff but I think I may be overwatering a bit so I'm gonna be more um take well because you know it's still spring so I think maybe I could um do less watering and these would probably bloom more um they're not really I mean they're looking a tad bit yellow the leaves so I got to be careful but um anyways the reds are finally popping up and I think there's some purples over here I knew they had some other color in them okay is it starting to rain we're supposed to have rain today. Um, and I'm standing out back and there's nothing covering me. But um, over here, and there's Braxton sitting in the chair sleeping. Braxton, what are you doing? Um, here my purple petunias are doing very well. Remember I said because these are concrete, I would have to spend make sure they're watered well. So it's nice and wet in there and good. And see, these are leaves are greener, if you can see there. And then there's my other one. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. Say good morning. Didn't you say good morning to everybody? Oh, there's my big boy. Why is it we talk to our dogs like that? <laughs> Anyways, over here um, in this pot, which I did have it kind of sitting over there, but I moved it. My dog was eating them. He was, update, he was eating some of this. Um, but you see some pink coming in through here. So I know this is going to have different colors in it too. Because when I bought them, they had all different colors. And then they kind of went through a growing spurt, I think. And see, now you can see there's some purples fixing to come through there too. But they're filling up the pot nicely, which I like. Um, so those, the petunias are all doing well. Um, I haven't put anything there yet. But thank you for all your comments because... 
If I can get hydrangeas in there, I would love to. It's just, you know, we have such heat here. Um, in the summer, it gets so, so hot. I'm not sure if it would work. Um, unless they were really, um, what do you call it? You know, when they're very, they've grown a lot. You know, when they're bigger, maybe I would have a better chance to have them over here. Because, yes, it does get a little more shady in this spot here. But over on this side, as you can see, we've got this. That thing was small, and it's grown so much. This gets quite a bit of sun on this end. Um, but in there, that's my family room here. So, um, yes, yeah, so maybe hydrangeas. I went looking for the other plants y'all suggested. What was the suggestion? Um, it was, I'll have to think about it. I don't remember. Um, but that plant's doing pretty good. It, it was getting a lot of leaves that were dying. So I looked up some stuff. Apparently I was overwatering things. So I have to be careful about that. Um, I have new cushions for out here. Um, I'm going to be bringing those out and I'll show you that when I get it all done. Um, over here, these petunias are doing really well. And this, um, and so this gets more of a kind of part sun, part shade on this area. And then this is in here too. Um, it's doing good. And then I've got one just kind of sitting there. Normally I have it on the table, but um, right now it's sitting over there because I watered it and it drained out the bottom. And then there's my fake. I had the, I used to have these in the house. So I brought them outside because it was at least I have some kind of greenery. But there's my real Boston fern, and it's doing really good. I'm really happy that I bought one. Um, I've always wanted to have one. Um, and this space is good because it gets pretty good shade most of the time, and that's what they want, um, those particular plants. So, so far so good with the um, plant situation. My neighbor, I don't know if you can see over there, their patio. He does a great job with plants. His plants look fabulous all the time. <laughs> um, me, I'm trying. I'm trying to make them look good. Let's look over here at my my bigger hibiscus. You know, it's fixing a... I, that may have bloomed already. Um, I'm not quite sure. That one's falling off. Um, my dog is not supposed to get to those. But look, at there's like little... Well, this one's already already had a flower in it. Um, but you got new ones here. Like there's a new one there. They're all over it. I mean, it'll be covered. It was covered in blooms the other day. And again, here I've got some yellow leaves, so maybe I'm overwatering. So I have to be careful. Um, but I figured with the wind, you know, it might be a problem. So there over there is another Gerber. And the flowers on it are a little bit smaller um, than the other ones. But here's the gate. This goes out to my other side of the, you know, there's our yard. Um, my, my neighbor over there. And then this goes around the other side of, of the, this is a garage right here. So, anyways, that's where we're at with everything. Um, we've been having to add water to the pool because it's been not raining as much as we'd like. Um, my husband's been working on that, but anyways, I got all new cushions for there and for my table. So I can't wait to show you how that looks. And I'm probably going to redecorate out here in a little bit, um, more, you know, than what I have on the table, clean the table, do some power washing because we have to power wash. Um, and we still have to go over clean at my mom's. Um, and that we're hoping to get that listed this week. Um, and that's about it. I just wanted to update you what was going on and I will come back again soon. So I guess this was kind of a little vlog, wasn't it? Anyways, y'all take care. I love y'all. Bye. Hi friends, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations. Welcome back everybody to my channel. It's always great to be here with you. Well, I'm standing outdoors today. It's a beautiful morning here in Texas. Um, of course, it's beautiful spring day. Not too hot, not too cold. Well, it's not been cold. Let me put it that way. It's been nice and, but not too warm. Um, Cause it, we're fixing to get our warm weather. But I wanted to show you what I did over here on the porch. Now, um, obviously you've seen this. I made this, you know, a bit ago. Um, I've got hydrangeas out for spring and that pop of green, which I like. Um, I went ahead and added this down here. Um, I've had this metal, um, thing and I know it has a name but I forgot what it's called um, but I've had it for years 
And I put some those new hydrangeas I bought, which these have a little bit of green tinge to them, which the other ones up here have a little bit of a pink hue. So they're slightly different, but I put some of that greenery in there to mix that in. And so it brings it down there. Then I have that little bit of black with the welcome sign. This is from Walmart, or not Walmart, Hobby Lobby, excuse me. And then of course my airplane plant that is doing fabulous since I replanted it. I just flipped it around so it would get sun because you know I need to, you need to flip them occasionally. Um, my red lantern still red. I do have the spray paint to change it, but we've had such windy days I haven't been able to do it. Um, we've had a lot of wind this spring, um, but I haven't done anything else uh, yet. I did clean this off because it was dirty, but I'd like to add some pillows to this and make it look cuter. Um, Occasionally, you know, my husband and I, um, after he gets home from work, we'll sit here and chat, you know, just for the, to see how his day went and what my day had in store, you know, what I did. So anyways, here we're going to go by, um, there's the garage. Um, I'm going to show you some of my plants and how they're coming together. Um, my neighbors, you know, have, are selling their houses. We've got a couple of for sale houses here. Um, so they're um, busy doing stuff. But over here, um, I think I showed you this the other day, but look at my pansies. <laughs> These happen to be from last year. Look how pretty. Oh, I love the color. They're a little lanky. Um, they're not gonna last too much longer. They just happen to be in this hanging basket I had last year. This, I'm not sure what's going on with. Is this phlox? Apparently I must have watered it too much because I'm having that trouble with the leaves turning brown and it's not blooming. So I've been careful about watering, trying to baby it back to health. Um, over here, my geranium's doing really good. It's got, cause it's got, you know, new ones coming and it's got the reds, you know, already blooming. So that looks good. And it looks good next to the other green. Um, these in the pot. Oh, and our crepe meadows are coming back. We were hoping we could kill those. <laughs> to tell you the truth, it's horrible to say, but they're a pain in the, you know what, to take care of. Um, but they're growing up here on top and yeah, we're going to have more crepe myrtle. And um, here in this pot, you know, I normally put, and there goes, I'm always, see, there's the lizard. Can you see it? There it is on the side of the pot. It's always here every time I film. Um, these are blooming again. The other day when I showed them to you, they didn't have anything on them. So, and there are lots of new growth. So they're going to get um, bigger, I think, and fill this in really nicely. And I think they like the sun and that purple. I love, you know, that. Um, let's go back over here. I've done, done nothing there yet. Um, I'm hoping my son and I can get out today. This, it's Friday and I'm hoping we get out to do something. Um, I still haven't planted that plant, but I think that's where it's going to go. Um, my other geraniums over here are doing fabulous. I'm going to get my feet wet walking in the grass. Um, but yeah, those are doing super good. You can see them. Lots of new buds and everything. Now I move these around occasionally. The azalea is doing good. Um, over here, my petunias, they're coming along. Um, I do need to figure out how to trim them. Um, I'm going to have to look it up because normally I just, you know, pinch off one and I don't, I think I take too much of it off. So I'm going to look that up because I got to kind of clean that up today. Um, my petunias down here are doing really good. My purple ones here in that pot. My Gerber. Oh, over here. Not to get you. This is the contraption that's going to help with our mosquitoes. Um, I have to let you know how it goes. Um, this is got, you know, same flowers it had. It looks like there's one on top of the other. This one's spent, but it looks like some of those are new, but look at all the pink ones. And I don't see any more right at the moment, but it'll, it'll be doing blooming all year. Here on the porch, I um, changed it up a hair after Easter. I took out, you know, well, in the video, you'll see before this one, um, I had my Easter out still. So I've taken all my Easter down and I went ahead and put that garland up there rather than on my um, welcome sign, which I've now brought out my porch sign for the summer. Um, and I still have my greenery in here, my um, hydrangeas. And of course that lantern sits there all the time. I moved that other wreath over here. Um, so it's brings that greenery over to this area. Um, of course, the wreath there, and of course they have the greenery here, but then my little porch sign here. I left the white hydrangeas in there. Hi, y'all. Um, 
here, you know, in the lanterns, I keep it simple. I just put, these are like little candle rings that I picked up at Walmart. And I went looking for some more the other day and couldn't find any, but it just has that pop of green in there. And I have a little plant, fake plant there. Um, but of course my wreath still looks pretty. And I think that greenery kind of looks good up there. Over here, it's mostly plants and stuff. Um, my red truck, another air pilling plant. It's doing really well. Um, I guess, again, we, we've talked about this before. This is an ivy that was in part of my mother's, you know, plants that came, you know, from people. Um, and it's doing well, so I'm glad for that. Um, over here, I moved my farmhouse sign. It was like here, and I moved it over here. I like that pop of black um, against there. Um, there's my hanging baskets. Um, I'm having a little trouble with those. They're, you know, it's like, a, uh, what is it that always happens? We've had so much wind. Um, here on the table, I got, of course, you can see now that my lanterns are clean. I cleaned them all up. Um, I do have to get in there with something to get that out of that, the crevices. But I, I had them all cleaned off. I cleaned the glass. I did all that. And then I brought this one in from outside for a while. Um, I'm going to look for a plant to sit here. Um, and then, of course, my chairs. And I was thinking maybe a rug might look be nice here. You know, I mean, I love my brick. Um, maybe a rug. I'm not sure. But maybe some different, a little bit of color maybe on the, the pillows. So maybe something like that. Um, I feel like maybe I want to put something over here, but before you know it, I'll be switching over probably to some, you know, decor for Memorial Day. I'm adding some red, white, and blue, but for now it's looking nice and springy out here. And I like it just like it is. Um, and then we'll switch things up when we get further into the month. And of course, Mother's Day is coming up. So I've been doing some shopping for Mother's Day. Um, for my mother-in-law. Um, but here's the porch and how it looks for now. So we're going to go hopefully today for this. And then this will move, you know, things will move. Um, I'm, we need some stuff in here. Okay. It's windy again today. I don't know if you can tell that the trees are all moving. So we're getting a lot of breeze. Um, over here. Um, we're just going to leave that. We're not going to do any more boxwoods. I want this to be kind of open and kind of low so that when you sit on the porch, you can see and you're not blocked by anything. Um, so that's the plan there. But I just wanted to share with you how it was looking. So I will see you again soon. Um, if I don't talk to you before Mother's Day, have a fabulous Mother's Day, everyone. And I love y'all to pieces. Mwah! Bye-bye.